Good evening. I'm Dr. Rudy Cashman. I'm going to speak to you tonight about a very interesting subject. Uh, what does it take to live to be 100? Healthy, of, of good mind, physically capable, free of disease, a very interesting uh, subject. And, uh, and with that, uh, let us uh, begin. And the longevity, uh, how long does a person li can possibly live? The, in the Roman Empire, the average lifespan was 22 years. That's all, 22 years. Can you imagine that? In the U.S., about 1900, over 100 years ago, the average lifespan was 45 years. Uh, what is it now? 78 years. Now the average uh, lifespan is about 78 years. A little bit longer for women than for men. Women about 78, men about uh, 76. What's the oldest recorded human being? 120 years. Oldest recorded human being on the planet. What does it take to reach ages like this? And uh, we discuss that with you. What determines uh, longevity? Genetics, your genes, what you inherited, is only 25% of it. Contrary to what you think. You know, your mother lives to be 100, you say, well, I'm going to live to be 100. It's only 25% in genetic uh, structure. Uh, lifestyle choices make up 75%. How you think, what you decide to do, how much you exercise determines the diet. Most people live to be 100, follow a vegetarian diet, or at least close to it. They're not big time meat eaters, and they don't weigh a lot. People that live a long time uh, live, uh, don't, don't weigh very much. They're, they're not obese, they're very interesting. Exercise is important. Exercise is important. Uh, the people that live the longest have some uh, uh, good habits. They play sports, they take a walk. Just walking is good enough, so exercise is important. Uh, types of medication you take uh, certainly can help you. If you need to take cholesterol medication, heart medication, diabetic medication, that's helpful. Uh, that you had the proper screening test done in your lifetime are helpful. That you find out you had a blood sugar, if you're diabetic, what your triglycerides, your fats were. Important things to know even at a young age. I recommend a, a fat profile and a blood sugar at any age, very young age. I think very important. Even as a teenager, I recommend it. Because 60% of teenagers have an elevated cholesterol. Uh, psychological aspects. Are you a positive thinker? Are you a negative thinker? Your body is going to react to how you think. Very important. Here's a little uh, a funny one by George Burns. Death is not popular. It's not good for the complexion. <laughs> it leaves you with too much time in your hands. That's George Burns. Like, that guy with a cigar sticking out of his mouth that lived to be over 100. It lived to be 100, exactly. I think he visualized that. He planned that. Uh, he was told he lived to be 100. That's exactly how long he lived. What are the top 10 causes of death? First, you've got to pass these diseases and illnesses uh, that go, can uh, attack you during your lifetime. Heart disease is 28 to 35 percent uh, of the uh, causes of death. Uh, and heart disease is determined what? The diet. Ni uh, di uh, heart disease, vascular disease is 90 percent a diet disease. Cancer, 23%. Cancer is 20% a diet disease. Of course, that has a lot to do with smoking, too. Uh, strokes, 6% of the deaths. Again, that's vascular disease, largely diet and blood pressure are regulated. Chronic obstructive pulmonary disease, COPD, smoking. Smoking is the big one there. Accidents is 4%. 36% of the people cause 4% of the accidents. Absent-mindedness, doing too many things at once, careless uh, uh, people. Diabetes mellitus, uh, they marked down at 3%. I think it's a lot higher than that. Diabetes is a, is a big cause of death, vascular disease, re, uh, renal disease. I think it's higher. Uh, pneumonia, influenza, about 3% of the deaths. Alzheimer's disease, about 3%. Kidney disease, about 2%. Uh, uh, blood infections, about 1%. And, and the rest of the percentages are made of a, probably about 10,000 different other diseases. Uh, that, but that's the, the, the majority of deaths are due to the ones uh, that I mentioned, your risk profile, what are the odds for you? The number one killer is heart disease. To, so to follow a proper nutritious diet, vegetarian, vegan, what I even call flexitarian, where you, where you eat more vegetables, don't eat much meat, uh, don't eat much cheese, uh, but eat fish a couple of times a week. Uh, this type diet, what I call it flexitarian diet, uh, also nutrient diet with the high nutrient foods, a lot of vegetables, a lot of beans, as Joe Furman talks about, a very good uh, way of eating. Uh, I've written books about that They're on my website, cashfromindbody.com. 90% of heart disease is due to poor diet. It's preventable, stoppable, and reversible. I just gave a lecture on it uh, about an hour ago at Lufthansa Hospital. It's, it's very true. And uh, so medication, surgery is an obvious thing. A diet is a, a very important. 
uh, major risk factors for heart disease are inflammation. Inflammation. If you have fat on your body, fat makes 20 nasty chemicals. If you're overweight, for example, uh, the fat will make inflammatory factors that attack your vascular system. They cause diabetes, vascular disease, Alzheimer's disease, and cancer. So inflammation is very important. You need to know what the inflammatory factors in your blood are. It's called a CRP. It should be less than two. I spoke to a lady today in the lecture I gave. It was seven. Uh, with the diet I prescribed, it's down to three. So she's getting there. Your cholesterol level, very important to know. Your cholesterol should be under 150. The Framington Heart Study showed anybody had a cholesterol under 150, never had a heart attack. Good figure to know. Don't accept 180. Hypertension, high blood pressure, due to what? Obesity, a lot of salt, uh, very important. Diabetes, very common because of uh, heart disease. 90% of diabetes due to the diet, eating the wrong food. It, it's totally reversible if you eat the right food in, in, in about 80% of the cases. High triglycerides, elevated LDL, the lousy cholesterol, and a low HDL, the good cholesterol. The good cholesterol cleans the arteries. The LDL ca causes plaque formation and obstructs the arteries. Major risk factors uh, for heart disease, tobacco use, smoking, a very, cause vascular spasm, obesity, because it raises the triglyceride levels and the uh, LDL and lowers the HDL is important. Lack of exercise is very important. 30% of dieting is exercise. Stress can cause uh, uh, heart disease because the cortisol level raises and inflammatory factors uh, can certainly cause heart disease. Family history. If you have a bad family history, you're running a high cholesterol, fats in your blood at, at, as a teenager, uh, and your mom and dad or somebody died in their 30s and 40s and 50s, and you have relatives who are used to dying at those ages, you've got to know what your, you've got to know, uh, what your figures are uh, uh, and uh, to correct them. Uh, Let's talk about cancer for a minute. Nicotine and diet are the major cause of cause, uh, causing culprits. Eat the wrong food, you're more likely to cancer. 20% of breast cancer is due to either eating, eating the wrong food, eating fatty food. Colon cancer, prostate cancer, caused by eating fatty foods. Major risk factors uh, for cancer, let's continue. Tobacco use, we mentioned already. Lack of regular physical activity. Inadequate consumption of fruits and vegetables. Overconsumption of fats, overconsumption of processed and red meats. Meat eaters get cancer more commonly, especially prostate cancer and colon cancer. Let's continue the, the risk factors. Intake of more than two alcoholic beverages a day or more uh, for men, one for women, have a higher cancer rate. I think one glass of wine a day for adults uh, actually leads to good health, but drinking more than that can be uh, dangerous. Uh, family history of cancer, for example, colon cancer, you have a lot of polyps in a family, more likely to get it. So genetic factors do play uh, a part. Uh, and uh, age is important. The older we get, more likely we get cancer. The number three killer is stroke, a devastating brain attack, where you lose your speech or you're paralyzed. Again, it's a vascular disease, largely a diet disease. Major risk factor for stroke are high blood pressure, smoking, hypertension, high cholesterol, tobacco use, lack of physical exercise, poor diet. These are all uh, great uh, causes, causes of uh, stroke conditions, uh, which are uh, not uncommon. Diabetes, diabetics have much more vascular disease, much more likely to have a stroke if you're a diabetic. If you eat a proper diet all your life, a vegetarian type diet, odds of a stroke is, is frankly pretty low. Secondary risk factors for stroke are age, how old you are, family history, birth control pills. Uh, I see, saw a patient recently uh, who took a diet pill. And what's so sad uh, is that she wasn't really overweight. She took a prescription and she had a major, major hemorrhage into her brain stem, permanently paralyzed the rest of her life on the right side. Pretty girl to boot, a very sad thing. Uh, I have no idea why someone wrote her a prescription. Uh, and that birth control pills also do this as well as some diet pills. Uh, atrial fibrillation, irregular heart rate, people have clots. The clots embolize to the brain and you have a stroke, very common. Uh, so patients on this are usually on blood thinners. Heart failure uh, from hypertension, uh, di diabetes, getting a day older, uh, causes strokes. Excessive alcohol consumption, the stroke rate goes up. Carotid artery disease, that's vast disease, where the arteries get plugged up in your neck and back of your brain uh, causes strokes. African descent, much more hypertension than black people. 
uh, largely because of uh, genetics in part and eating the wrong diet. In Africa in 1950, they couldn't find a black person who had a stroke or heart attack. Couldn't show the med students. But they moved over here. When I worked at DC General Hospital as a resident training in neurosurgery, I took out brain hemorrhages one, ad, one a day in the black community who had the privilege of treating uh, from hypertension, all due to the mad, sad, toxic American diet. So uh, they have to be taught to eat the uh, right food, and they wouldn't get those diseases. Very interesting. Uh, COPD due to smoking. 90% uh, of cases are caused by smoking. Uh, short of breath, heart disease. Genetics, 5% due to uh, ABD. The other 5% of the causes are evolution, secondary hand smoke. Secondary smoke indeed does cause cancer. So if you live in a guy that smokes, make him go outside. Uh, I saw a beautiful uh, blonde lady recently die of, medicine, of cancer spread from the lung to her sacrum. I saw her as a back pain patient. She didn't smoke. Uh, then her husband walked in. He reeked from the stuff. He killed this beautiful blonde wife, beautiful blonde wife uh, from secondary smoke. It's a real story, so sad, so sad. And uh, uh, occupational exposure sometimes does it too. Accidents are not just a threat to the young. It's very interesting uh, whether risk factors uh, for accidents age. If you look at the graph for accidents, it, it, it was kind of surprising to me that you start at a young age and the graph kind of looks, goes ahead like that and then you hit 65 and then bango, bango, goes sky high. So accidents pick up uh, age 65 or so, and I think part of inattention, uh, perhaps uh, uh, getting day older, they don't think as quickly, some uh, memory loss, con uh, confusion, uh, and, and they're not as steady, fall down, and so accident rate goes up tremendously starting in the mid-60s, something uh, as we're getting older we really have to watch. And uh, alcohol and drugs obviously cause a lot of accidents, and uh, you heard about that baseball player recently that pitched six um, hitless innings. His first professional game, he went to go home. Half hour later, he's dead due to a person who had been drinking. Uh, killed him. How sad. I watched the interview of his father. It was so sad. A lack of exercise and coordination uh, uh, caused accidents, of course. Vision or hearing impairment. Uh, don't see as good as we did old. A lot of people driving 90 years old. And I, I, I didn't say stop driving, but you, you, you got to be checked more closely. And, uh, and especially night vision can be poor sometimes. Uh, risk factors for accidents, lack of seat belt use. I've seen that. Children live in a wheelchair the rest of their life because their parents didn't belt them in. I saw a death recently uh, from that too. How would you like to have that in your conscience? That your child died because you didn't belt them in. And it's very sad. And uh, icy, slippy conditions, uh, you have to watch those. If you're speeding along and it's icy and you don't have an all-wheel car drive, uh, all-wheel uh, type car, uh, like I drive, uh, it's dangerous uh, that you could slip right off the road, hit a tree, uh, an immovable object, and you're dead. As a neurosurgeon, believe me, I've seen that more than once. And uh, fatigue, we get tired, we fall asleep at the wheel, is a common cause. Poor lighting, late at night. Uh, certain medications will also uh, do this, you know, put you to sleep. And uh, lack of child uh, safety, not putting the belts on, training the kids. So. Let's talk about diabetes for a minute. Adverse effects of diabetes on your body. Uh, certainly if you're diabetic and live to be 100, uh, it's a miracle. But if you eat the vegetarian diet all your life, you can. I've seen it. I know a person that lived to be 100 as a, as a full-blown juvenile diabetic. But he was perfect in his diet. So you can't do things about it. So uh, diabetes causes heart disease and strokes, kills 65 to 75 percent of the diabetics. High blood pressure, uh, di diabetics get that a lot. Kidney disease and failure leading to dialysis, very common. Happened to my mother-in-law. She never ate the right diet, and she died in, like at age uh, 70. I think she's lucky to live that long. And uh, uh, eye problems, they don't see as good. They become blind because of vascular disease uh, from eating the, the, the wrong food. Nerve damage, they have diabetic neuropathy. A lot of pains, a lot of numbness, they develop some paralysis, very common. Foot complications and amputations, common. All can be prevented by eating the right food. They may occur occasionally in spite of that, but I tell you, not commonly. I see a lot of people have had an extremity amputated. Uh, skin complications are, are very common. Sexual dysfunction, impotency, common with diabetes. Uh, and, and, and I see diabetic mothers, and they will cause diabetes in their newborn child. I mean, that seems almost not possible 
But if your mother and you gained 30 pounds, you could uh, become diabetic and turn your infant as a diabetic, and, and your child is really born uh, behind the eight ball. And uh, dental disease, uh, a lot of dental disease uh, in, di in diabetics. And uh, uh, pneumonia, get your flu shot. Uh, I think it's very important, especially get older, uh, to get a flu shot. And uh, Alzheimer's disease is, is not uncommon, but it's overdiagnosed. It's overdiagnosed. A lot of people have a memory loss. It's Alzheimer's disease. Is that true? It's not a common disease, but it's much more common in people eating the wrong food. Uh, if you eat a very fatty diet, Alzheimer's disease is a much higher rate. Uh, risk factors for Alzheimer's disease: uh, age, usually after age 60, but I can see we can see it younger than that, uh, than that. Family history plays a part too. It's, it, it can be inherited to some extent. Uh, previous head injury, uh, boxers, for example much more common to get Alzheimer's disease. Cardiovascular disease and diabetes and obesity, a much higher rate of Alzheimer's disease. A poor diet, lack of omega-3 fatty acids. These are essential fatty acids. And if you eat those, you're much less likely uh, to uh, get a uh, Alzheimer's disease. The best source, frankly, is adamine, a soybean. It's the healthiest, and flaxseed. Uh, fish oil will too, but, but the uh, flaxseed and uh, uh, adamine is much healthier. Uh, lack of uh, poor diet, lack of antioxidants, lack of fruits, lack of vegetables, much higher rate of Alzheimer's disease. So the risk factors are high saturated fat diet, obesity, a lack of exercise, high cholesterol levels, uh, hypertension, much more likely to get uh, Alzheimer's disease. Risk factors for kidney disease, uh, diabetes, diabetics have, have kidney disease a lot, hypertension, a much higher rate uh, for, for kidney disease, septicemia, blood infection, mo most likely kidney disease. Weak immune system, AIDS, for example, cause kidney disease. Wounds, injuries, or burns can cause renal disease. Alcohol and drug abuse uh, lead to uh, uh, renal disease. And intravenous catheters, wound drainage, urinary catheters lead to renal disease. A lack of proper vaccination. Some people don't get the kids vaccinated, a major, major mistake. So your risk profile, controllable risk factors, we talked about that. Now, if, if you eat the proper diet, exercise properly, you're going to live longer. If you don't, you're going to get those diseases we talked about. Uh, let, let's talk about controllable risk factors. Your high cholesterol, you can uh, uh, correct by your diet. Uh, the uh, high blood pressure, diet and, and uh, don't use salt, don't smoke. Uh, get rid of the obesity, uh, excessive alcohol consumption, stop that, and you're going to live a long life. So you have uncontrollable risk factors, which can be genetics, which you inherit, your age, your gender, male or female, makes a difference. Uh, your race can make a difference in how long you live. So a way of eating for a long life, the secret of the non-diet, it's based on a book I wrote. It's available in bookstores. Uh, and uh, what, what is it? Complex carbohydrates. What's a complex carb? Baked potato, sweet potato, but without <laughs> fat, uh, without uh, butter on it. And I put olive oil on it. Not a lot, but some. Uh, a, a carrot can be a complex carbohydrate. And uh, whole grain, that means dark bread, black bread, uh, pumpernickel, whole grain bread, vegetables all you can eat, beans all you can eat, and fruit all you can eat. If you follow this type of diet, uh, you will not gain weight, uh, you will not be diabetic, you will not have vascular disease, you're going to live a long time. In essence, this is a, a vegetarian, uh, a vegan type uh, uh, diet, but you don't have to have 100%. Uh, you know. Uh, you're about 80%. I call it the flexitarian diet. Be a little bit flexible. Uh, what's your BMI, your body mass index? Very important to know based on your height and your weight. You need 25 or less as a good uh, BMI. What's your waist size? As a male, ought to be under 40, female under 35. Uh, very Im important. Your report card, the test you want to pass. Uh, your blood, it tells no lies. Get a blood test, your triglycerides, your blood sugar, your CRP, the uh, inflammation factor. Very important, even as a teenager, especially if there's vast disease in the family, you need to know your factors. Otherwise, uh, what's the most common uh, symptom of uh, the most common symptom of heart disease as you get older? Arm pain, chest pain, dizziness, headache? No, it's sudden death. So know your factors at a young age, so you can do something about it, so you don't face that. Uh, so get test your blood; it tells no lies. Fasting insulin is the direct measure of the primary pillar of aging. This fa fact is highly correlated with the development of heart disease, but it's a very expensive test, so I, I don't re necessarily recommend that. Uh, so uh, 
the ratio of your fasting, that means not eating for six hours, triglycerides to your HDL, that's the good cholesterol in your blood, is, is, a, is a surrogate marker for f fasting insulin, much a cheaper test, very important marker for aging. If that test is, is good for you, you're probably going to live a long life. Percentage of body fat is important. Males less than 15%, females less than 22%. Report card, fasting insulin level less than 10. Glycolated hemoglobin, commonly done by diabetics, that's the average blood sugar in your blood uh, as it affects the, blood, the uh, red blood cells and they get this glycinated uh, hemoglobin and should be less than 5%. It measures a month's worth of blood sugar really. So your triglyceride HDL ratio should be less than two. That's a very accurate uh, uh, and cheap test uh, to, to see how you're doing. Percent body fat, we already mentioned males less than 15, male, females less than 22. Uh, HDL, the good cholesterol, in males should be at least 50, females, uh, in, in uh, females at least 50, in males at least 40. Your LDL, the lousy cholesterol, should be less than 80. Triglycerides should be less than 150. If not, you gotta work on it. Your cholesterol should be less than 150. If your cholesterol is 150 or less, the odds of dying a heart attack is almost zero, almost zero. The Framington Heart Study proved that. And the blue zones, so talk about the blue zones, that's about four zones, there are many more, but where people live past 100. Uh, what did they have in common? Uh, Sardinia, Italy is an example of, of one. Let's look at what they had in common. Loma Linda, California is, is, is populated largely by Seventh-day Adventists. Seventh-day Adventists is a, is a religion and they're vegetarians by religion. I'm not, uh, I'm not Seventh-day Adventist, but you have to admire that. They live on the average eight to 10 years longer than the rest of us. So let's find out what they do. Nicoya, Costa Rica is another one. Okinawa, Japan is another one. Let's find out what they did. The secrets of the uh, blue zones. They eat a lean plant-based diet accented with meat. Just a little bit of meat, not a lot of meat. Uh, they put family first, it's very important. Uh, the love of the family uh, lives, lets you live longer. Matter of fact, they found out that if your daughter takes care of it, your odds of living past 100 goes way up. That's been proven. <laughs> in, uh, in Sardinia, they drink goat's milk. Obviously, we cannot do that, but a lot of them are goat farmers, and uh, they celebrate elders. Uh, they're held in high respect. You live to be 100, 110, you're a hero, and, uh, and they, they live a much longer life. Uh, take a walk. Uh, exercise is very, is very important. Sardinia, the seekers of blue zone, let's continue with that. Drink a glass of two of red wine daily. They do this. I think this is a, a, a good habit. I'm not asking to be an alcoholic, but a glass of red wine in an adult, not a bad thing. Laugh with friends. Tell jokes. Strong self-esteem and clear purpose. I think a purpose in life is very important. Uh, if you can establish a purpose in life, you can live a lot, lot longer. I feel I have a purpose. This wellness teaching is my purpose as a physician. And I, I feel happy every day, feel energetic every day, and, and I've uh, celebrated my, th my 34th anniversary of my 39th birthday on April the 25th. <laughs> what I'm saying is I think it's, it's, it's helping me. So if you can establish a purpose for yourself, you're gonna live a lot longer. And it doesn't matter what it is, uh, volunteering or a job or whatever. Uh, drink a glass or two of red wine daily, laugh with friends, strong self-esteem, be proud of yourself, no matter what you do. I don't care if you're God in the present, I'd be the best one, be the most kindest one. And, uh, and uh, I don't care what your job is, just be the best at what you do and enjoy it and be, and be good at it. Develop a friendly, happy personality, a very important thing. And uh, the, the classic Sardinian diet consists of whole grain bread, beans, vegetables, fruits, cheese high in omega-3 fatty acids, Meat is largely reserved for Sundays and special occasions. They're not big time meat eaters, they're vegetarians. And Sardinia, let's continue. The Sardinians gently walk five miles a day, a good distance, but they do that, they live in the mountains. Provides a type of low intensity exercise. High intensity is not better than low intensity. As so long as you do some of it, take a walk for an hour a day. That alone is great exercise. And it yields uh, all kinds of cardi mask of benefits. We're talking about the healthy things. As you might expect, but it also has a positive effect on the muscles and the bones. They have less osteoporosis. Let's move to Okinawa of Japan. What are their secrets? A lot of people live there past 100. Uh, they embrace a purpose. Remember I talked about Aikigei? Purpose, have a purpose in life. Uh, think of one and, and do it. 
if you have a, if you can change jobs, whatever, if you have a purpose, you will be healthier and you will live longer. Rely on a plant-based diet. Get gardening. Have a garden. Eat more soy. Maintain secure social networks. Uh, uh, Amoy. See, very important uh, social networks are very important in living a long life. Let's continue with Okinawa. Enjoy the sunshine. Get out there. Enjoy nature. Look at the birds. Listen to the birds, the sounds, the visions of nature. Very, very uh, healing. Stay active. Keep moving. Don't lay around watching TV all day. Plant a medicinal garden. Just exercise of it and, and, uh, and the things you can grow can be very healthy. Have an attitude. Smugness. Be strong. Have an opinion. Don't sit around and, and, and have no opinion. Become likable. Every time I pass somebody in the hospital, I always say good morning. I try to know their name. My nurse is especially good at that. He, he knows, I think my nurse Brian knows every nurse in the hospital. I mean, it's just unbelievable. And they love him. They love him. And it goes both ways. He feels good every day. He's healthy. Loma Linda, California, where the Seventh-day Adventists live, very interesting uh, how they do it. They find a sanctuary in time, the Sabbath. They celebrate uh, uh, the Saturday. That's their Sabbath, just like Christians might do a Sunday or Jewish people might do a Saturday, no matter what. That day, for example, a Seventh-day Adventist can't study if he's in med school, can't study. When I asked my friend Devin if he would uh, play tennis with me on Saturday, he wouldn't do it. That's a Sabbath. It's a Sabbath. It's a family day for him. I think this is very good. The, it's a day to look forward to of rest, to be with family. I think it's a great thing. Maintain a healthy body mass index, BMI. We talked about that already. Get a regular moderate exercise. Spend time with, with like-minded friends. So you're not arguing about people about things. They're like-minded individuals. Doesn't matter what the opinion is. S snack on nuts. S nut eaters. Uh, uh, people who eat a lot of nuts are more, more healthy because they have some omega-3 in them. Uh, but you can eat too many nuts, too, because they're uh, fatty. I'd rather have you get the omega-3 out of Adamane, uh, the, the soybean. And it tastes very good. They serve it here at a local Japanese restaurant. I always look forward to, to the Adamane I can eat. And, uh, and Loma Linda, let's continue. Give something back, charity. Seventh Adventists are clearly known uh, for charity. Absolutely. They do good things for other people. As a matter of fact, I was speaking to my friend Devin Wilson today, and uh, a very nice uh, black gentleman uh, who, who moved into a neighborhood uh, where the neighbor uh, wasn't of the same race and really wasn't that nice to him. But, but uh, uh, Devin, every day, went over there to cut the man's lawn. He cut the man's lawn every day. Unfortunately, he recently died. But, but that they became very close friends. Uh, so you can break across barriers. So to do charity or a good turn to a neighbor is a nice way to promote a relationship. Uh, eat meat in moderation or not at all. Eat early, a light dinner, no food after seven. Uh, this is important, not to eat real late. It, 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 it keeps you from sleeping well and the food is metabolized differently. It's not a good thing. Uh, eat meat in moderation, we talked about that. Follow a vegetarian diet, drink plenty of water. I don't drink enough water, but eight glasses of water would be a good thing. Costa Rica. Another blue zone uh, area. Uh, have a strong sense of purpose. Purpose. Devita. Devita. Remember, I talked about uh, purpose all the time. And I think uh, and, and the recommendations in Costa Rica are essentially the same as the other blue zones. Blue zones. I think I've taught you in this uh, little conversation that we've had uh, how to live to be 100. Happy, uh, of sound mind, uh, to be physically able. Uh, and I think we, the, a lot of these things are very repetitive, what they are, a good diet, exercise, uh, and family, uh, and to avoid the other major risk factors. Thank you very much for listening to me, uh, and I uh, sure enjoyed talking to you. Thank you.